Well, there is a new Ferrari out, and that is the Portofino M, which is the upgraded Portofino that came out in 2018. And I just got back from Ferrari Fort Lauderdale. I did some filming because they just got one in. Unfortunately, we couldn't take it out, so I couldn't do a full review this time. But I want to show you the design changes of the car and talk about why I think this car is so special in the Ferrari lineup. And that is because I think this is the only Ferrari that has a almost perfect balance between sportiness and elegance. Now the original Portofino came out back in 2018 and it was the replacement for the California T as an elegant sporty hardtop convertible with 591 horsepower and 561 pound-feet of torque. This engine in particular belongs to the V8 engines that was voted the best engine of the year worldwide four years in a row starting in 2016. For the 2021 model year, the Portofino M gets an additional 21 horses, bumping the power up to 612 horsepower from its twin turbo 3.9 liter V8. And this is in line with the Ferrari I reviewed a couple of weeks ago, namely the Ferrari Roma. So what about the performance here? Well, zero to 60 miles per hour is done in only three and a half seconds, and the Portofino M tops out at just over 200 miles per hour. In addition, the Portofino M also receives a new gearbox adding one gear and this gearbox is taken straight from the SF90 Stradale and this, the setup of this gearbox is that the first seven gears are very quick and snappy for a very uh, pleasant and sporty driving experience while the eighth gear is more of an overdrive gear for those long continental stretches on the highway in typical GT fashion. It's also equipped with a new exhaust system and all 2021 Portofino M's are fitted with massive carbon fiber ceramic brakes as standard because you need those when you have 612 horsepower under the hood. So now let's talk about the design. So let's start on the outside of this car. The fact that the Ferrari Portofino, Portofino M is more powerful than the Portofino, the previous model, results in small targeted changes to the bodywork and styling of the car. In the front, we have a new bumper with larger intakes in the lower sides of the fascia and a new grille design as well. It's just aggressive enough without losing the elegance of what a Ferrari GT is supposed to be and feel like. There are also new air vents added to the side of the bumper, cutting into the wheel arches to reduce overall drag and make the car more efficient at higher speeds. And this feature creates this cut line in the body of the car going through the wheel arch and stretches into the door. And this is, if you want to separate the 2018 Portofino from the Portofino M, this is the place to look because it's the easiest way to tell them apart is that this cut now stretches from the front fender into the door of the car and this creating a beautiful sculpted piece in connection from the front over to the side as well. The overall sculpture of the Portofino M reminds me of rock formations you find, for example, in Antelope Canyon in Utah and Arizona, where the wind has shaped the rocks and canyons into smooth, almost organic looking surfaces over thousands of years. That to me is the current Ferrari design language or the style of it. Same with the SF90 as well. It has that smooth with some creases in the body line. It's a beautiful car. The best inspiration you can have for a great car design is always, in my opinion, going to be or come from nature because nature is timeless. It's elegant and raw and with just with the flow that you, you don't find anywhere else. And I think the Portofino M's design is a good example of just that. You have the long hood and front section stretching back to the rear section of the rear fenders, which are tight and compact, almost like a muscle under tension ready to propel the car forward. Traditional GT proportions with the cabin, of course, being positioned all the way back, almost over the rear axle, creating this forward leaning design. What I really like about this specific model is the treatment of the hardtop design. Not only can it be opened and closed in just 15 seconds and at speed of up to 25 miles per hour, it's also a stunning design. I'm sure the Portofino M is mistaken for a coupe by a lot of people simply because that's what it's been designed to do with the roof up and the lines of the roof they continue into the bodywork of the car creating a natural connection between the two volumes making it look like a proper coupe when the roof is closed and i can't believe the challenges the engineers faced when creating this mechanism the roof not only does it need to be tucked away tightly and securely in the trunk with the roof down, it also needs to look 
beautiful and connect with all the lines when the roof is up and at the rear the new exhaust system has no silencer assembly at all and this means that the design is of the of the new m feels more compact and lighter than the previous model the rear bumper has also been totally redesigned and restyled to be more in line with the lines of the front creating a better flow throughout the car from front to back and we also have single round taillights in each corner of the rear end as well with which is the tradition that we've seen now for about 20 years since the introduction of the 599 and carried over here as well in the Portofino M. Not like the F8 Tributo or the SF90 Stradale, which both have classic four round, ta round taillights. Or not really round, but they have four taillights. It's interesting to think about if you look at the SF90, the F8 and the Roma, they all have four uh, different taillights, but the styling of the taillight themselves are very different in each of those cars. Now the rear diffuser has also been completely redesigned here and is now separated from the bumper and this means that buyers can specify if they want for example a different material for the splitter for the diffuser and don't have to think about that being a piece of the whole bumper so if you want a carbon fiber diffuser you can now get that with the portofino m on the inside you find a 10.3 inch screen mounted in the center console of the dashboard and you can also option for a 7 inch screen that faces the passenger and where they can have the ability to get real-time data on the performance of the car see how fast you're going basically and operate the car's navigation system and apple carplay and android auto are both available now with the portofino m as well now what's interesting here is that the we have a lot more analog tools and buttons that we have in the roma for example or the sf90 when i reviewed the roma you could see that the entire gauge cluster in the middle was a big digital display even the classic ferrari rev counter and this is great if you want to have if you want to configure everything and have uh whatever screens you can pick and choose and have the full screen in the front of you but to me i think uh, this configuration that we have in the uh, in the portofino m here with the analog uh, rev counter is more like ferrari it suits this car better than having a full digital display it's like the two displays on the side of the rev counters are just there it's they're not really necessary but it's they're, they're good to have but what really matters is the uh, massive rev counter that is front and center it's a reminder of what car you're in and it also is a reminder of re what really matters when you're driving it not only that but the climate control buttons are also physical buttons which i like it's a lot quicker and nicer to operate than controlling it from a display or a screen. So how can we sum up the Portofino M here? Well, to me, it's almost the perfect balance between aggressive sportiness and subtle elegance. I think this is what Ferrari does best. It's a car that feels just as much as home chasing lap times at Sebring Raceway as it does cruising down A1A along the beach 35 miles per hour. The facelift is a subtle but effective step in connecting some of the pieces and lines that we have on the Portofino. The Portofino M now creates some graphical features in the body lines that connects the front, the side, and the rear in a better way. And I think it works great. I think it's a subtle change, but it's also very effective in what it wants to do. And that's all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.